Hello everybody, I'm sitting here with Dr. Patrick Dixon. He's a futurist, as we've heard today, and we're sitting at the DED 2011. Um, he, is, he was talking a lot about connected TV, he's talking about the future, and, and my view is basically, talking about smart TV, what is it? What are we talking about now? Smart TV is a complete integration of every part of communication into one space, one experience. But actually, you see, the manufacturers are hoping that smart TV will be one big massive screen which they buy, uh, which you buy from them, which will contain all these images. But the fact is, it's much more likely to be an, uh, an integration of what's happening on your iPad with what's happening on the TV. So the iPad can sense the TV program that you're watching and will be a guide through it for additional information that you want to read that maybe other people in the room don't want to see. Are we going to talk about first and second screen in the future or are we going to leave that out and how does it affect the marketing industry? And we're talking about a multi-screen environment where people have devices of all kinds and shapes and maybe if you've got a room full of four or five people then they may have six or seven devices between them in addition to this enormous screen they're watching and by the way the screen they're watching uh, the movie on or the sports program on could be uh, three or four meters wide by two meters high. Uh, I mean, that's the size of the screen I have in my own home. So that doesn't exactly seem like the future. And how about the advertising industry? How does it affect it? Well, advertisers need to understand that it's no good just throwing stuff out and turning up the volume during the ad break and hoping people will listen to you as they make their, their, their coffee in the kitchen. You know, we need to be much more subtle about this. If you're producing content that people actually want, then you don't need to shout. You can just be. You need to understand the what the, actually what it's actually like to feel as a customer. That is the primary guide. Most advertisers I talk to are blind. They have one particular uh, pair of glasses they put on when they talk about their own experience, and another when it comes to the customer. I'm sorry to be so brutal about it, but I meet uh, marketing people from all over the world. I'll just give you one small example of that is uh, people's reaction to, uh, uh, to uh, phoning at the local telecom company and they get through on the mobile phone and they say press one for this, press two for that, press three for accounts, press four for customer service. Most marketers I know are, are mad with anger when they get through to a company like that. They want to put the person who designed such a system in jail because they think it's a socially, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a crime to waste people's time like that, to push buttons and all the rest of it. Why can't they use a human being? But you know what? The same people that complain about such systems also buy them and they use them to make their own customers really angry. It's an example of what I call institutional blindness. Folks, we need to get real. Take off the glasses that you wear at work and try and get in touch with what it used to feel like when you're a customer. Fantastic, fantastic answer. Okay. <laughs> um, one last question. Yeah. Can, can somebody like you learn from a conference like this one? from DED 2011 by MediaMind? Yeah, it's been fun working with MediaMind. I've been in San Francisco today, we're in London in three weeks time, we're in Singapore. There are some companies that I go to and uh, I listen to the brief over the phone or over coffee and uh, think, yes, okay, you know, I learn about the brief, let's do the job. And there are others where I learn from the brief and I think, wow, that's really interesting. I need to tweet this to my 42,000 followers in a few moments as soon as I finish this meeting. Media Mind is one of those. It's a company I learn from as well as enjoy working with. That's a fantastic statement, isn't it? Thanks a lot, Mr. Dixon, Thank you. for that. And uh, good to see you. Hope to see you next year again. Thanks.